Uh, my name is Hajra Ahmed. Uh, I'm visiting from Karachi and uh, I'm here on behalf of my late uncle, Dr. Iqbal Ahmed, who has received this honor. Uh, my uncle in 1970-71 was in the U.S. Uh, he is a teacher, he is a scholar, he was, uh, and also an activist. Uh, he in, had taken up the cause of the Palestinian issue. He was involved in the Algerian Liberation War. He actually fought in that war, in the Algerian Liberation War. And in 1971, he was in the U.S. when uh, um, army action started in Dhaka. And when he got the news, he had been following the events very carefully from, from there. When he got this news that the army has, you know, West Pakistan army started full out genocide, he, he was extremely disturbed and he started a lecture campaign. He started a petition um, and he submitted that petition strongly condemning this army action in Bengal from, by West Pakistan, submitted it to the Pakistan High Commission there uh, and gave lectures. But at that time, he himself was going through a trial by the U.S. government because uh, he was also a very active anti-Vietnam War activist. So he, along with many others, Daniel Ellsberg and many others, seven, eight others, were um, going through this trial. They were accused of uh, having conspired to blow up the heating system of the White House and all that. So he was going through a very tough period himself at that time and didn't really have much time. But in that time, he really mobilized uh, public opinion over there. And that was the time when even the U.S. was not really condemning this. Uh, they were not supporting the Bengalis at that time. Uh, so it was important for him to, to inform what this uh, whole movement for uh, liberation was, the movement of self-determination of Bengalis, who had been exploited by the West. Uh, and. Uh, he, along with my younger uncle, uh, Dr. Sagheer Ahmed, he was also in the U.S., uh, younger than my uncle, Dr. Iqbal Ahmed. He was also extremely active in, in this campaign. Uh, the reason he's not known very much is because he died in 71. But I do want to acknowledge his contribution. He was only 31, and he was, a, uh, he was an activist. He, he lectured intensively, he wrote condemning this war very strongly, but because soon, you know, he died in an accident, very unfortunate accident at the age, at age 31. But um, he, along with my uncle, you know, did a lot. And that's the contribution that uh, Bangladesh has acknowledged. And he died in 1991. He uh, moved to Pakistan seven years before his death. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to set up a liberal arts college there mm -hmm. in Islamabad. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was not able to do that because of all the problems that he faced from the government. Mm -hmm. He needed a charter mm -hmm. to grant degrees. And the charter can only be given through an act of the parliament. Mm -hmm. And that did not happen. He needed land to build his campus. The land was not uh, given. It was given, then taken back, and uh, lots of political issues. He used to write a weekly column in Pakistan, mm -hmm. very you know, hard-hitting against uh, whichever government was in power, if they were not doing right and their policies were not right, he would write openly. So he he was not very popular with the with the with the governments that were in power for his very outspoken criticism and analysis. Uh, so he was not able to really set up this college and then rather suddenly he died in 1991. You know, I feel, see my uncle was not a man who valued these honors and symbols and prizes very much. But I'm sure had he been alive today, he would have really valued this honor. He would have valued this honor greatly.